When I was nine years old, my parents got English teaching jobs and moved us all to Japan for a year. I was a blonde kid, and that made me of interest to all the Japanese people, like, because they had never really seen a blonde-haired person before. They would point at me or my sister, touch my hair, talk at me. I didn't understand anything yet. The day after we arrived, I went to school for the first time, and then that was crazy. I didn't feel that anyone was interested in getting to know me, except for one person, and uh, her name was Fukue, and we became best of friends. She was really curious about me, and that made me really curious about her because she was so different from everyone else. We'd go down the dirt roads, we'd explore the little shrines. We would find frogs in the rice paddies. She was the closest friend that I had, and she was a creative, beautiful human. After a year in Japan, my family returned to Vancouver. Fukui and I became pen pals immediately. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped hearing from her. At the time, I just wondered if something prevented her from writing to me or if she stopped of her own will. Fukue was my surrogate family at school, and I protected her from the bullies. Now that we were apart, I was scared that the bullying had started again. Years later, when I became a professional musician, I reconnected with the koto, and that made me think a lot about my time in Japan and Fukue. This song is called Lost Friends, and I hope one day to find her. Scarf, guitar, cord. So I started looking online for Fukue. There was no record of her name, there was no social media accounts, no photos, nothing. In the back of my mind, I was always worried that something bad had happened to her. So I'm going back to Japan to see if I can try and find Fukue. The most important thing for me to say to her is how much she meant to me and how much she affected my life and showed me some important lessons about humanity. I might not be able to follow the trail to anything that is current, but maybe Fukue is still out there. The place that we ended up living is a little town called Saku. So Saku is referred to as the boonies by Japanese people. Dirt roads, rice paddies everywhere, little shrines. We were so notable as a family that we were asked to be the stars of an educational video to teach Japanese kids English. But that was, of course, when Saku had absolutely no foreigners, and it was a small rural village. It's now a regular city of 100,000 people, so finding Fukui is going to be a lot harder than it would have been before. Wow, this is what it looked like, for sure. This is what everything looked like. The first place I'm going to go is the school that Fuku and I went to as kids. I have a meeting set up with the principal, and I'm really hoping he can give me some information that leads us to finding her. こんにちは。こんにちは。
The morning of the Halloween party, me and Fiona woke up at 6.10. We put away our futon, made breakfast, and ate it. After we had prepared and carved the pumpkin, the children started to come. Oh. Ah, Halloween. <laughs> so, cute to create a lot wow. of Halloween about Halloween, Halloween party. Halloween party also. <laughs> Today, Halloween party was the first time I was in the house. I was in the house and I was in the house. フィオーナさんは魔女に変身して面白かったです福江、うんうん、さんも同じようにハロウィンパーティーのことを考えてね,そうですね同じことを考えたと同じ話、ね、木内福江さんという人を探してますから、ね、多分あの学校の名簿ですか卒業生台帳というのがありまして、はい、そこに名前と住所があるんですけれども、はい、他の方にねお見せすることはできないんですよ、うん、ご本人に連絡を取って、はいえー、ジェシカさんに教えてもいいですよっていう了解を得られたらジェシカさんにお伝えすることはできますでも本当にありがとうございますすごい面白かった So, when Fukue and I would play after school, she would always come to my apartment. The only time that I actually came face to face with that thought was when I was formally invited to come to her house. When I got to the place, it wasn't a house at all, it was like a shack, basically. It was poverty. I remember just standing outside the house, not knowing what to do. Before anyone inside saw me, I just ran back home. Just realizing that my best friend lived in this type of a situation, and all the things that I had heard coming around the corner at school and seeing kids surrounding her and pointing at her and clearly saying something not nice to her, even though I couldn't hear it. What I saw that day has never left my mind's eye. Is there anything else that comes up here? I see Iwamurada. I still sort of speak Japanese like a kid, so I brought along a translator and guide Ryo to help out. We're looking at the yearbook I picked up from the school. And it shows the father's name of all, every student. So we looked that up online and we found a record from 2000, which is 11 years later than our nearest other records. So that's like an improvement. Even if he has passed and so his number isn't listed anymore, his wife might still live there. Or maybe his son lives there. Or maybe she lives there. Yeah. I think we should go to the personal residence address that's listed 932 10. Oh, here we go. It just feels good to detective work, exactly. This is kind of like my childhood dream. All my childhood dreams meshing together in one trip. Damn it. This is definitely all new. According to the, the map, it was probably this house. Right. You know, we probably should have asked those women. This name is Otto-san. Yes. ああ、作工工にお父さんが勤めてたのかな。あ、そうですよ。そうそう。そうです。でも他のお店はありますか？あの三十年前もあった店。随分随分変わっちゃってるけどね。だから市役所行くとわかると思うよ。あ、really？あ
most important thing about the press being here is that it makes me really hopeful that we're actually going to find Fukue. Fukue-san. I want to find you. こういうことを調べて教えることっていうのは見ない個人情報なので例えばじゃあこの名簿うちの市役所の職員の中で近所に住んでた人いないかっていうのをちょっと聞いてみますねはいありがとうございますそうなったら多分住んでる職員いるの
が本当に嬉しいです。うん、私も。福井さんもいつも考えてます。福井を見つけられることはすごい。大切。福井さんの歌も書いたよ。本当。すごい。岩村田小学校の後は福江さんは何の中学に行ってましたか？朝松あなんですけど、やっぱジェシカちゃんがいた頃は、はい、なんかちゃんと小学校に通ってたんですけど、うん、そうそう、なんか四年生頃からちょっといじめにあっちゃって、そこから。小学校に行ってなくてそのまま中学も行ってなかったからなんとなくなんか自分の中でなん,なんていうかね人付き合いが嫌だってなっちゃってそれで多分なんかジェシカちゃんお手紙もうやめちゃったのかもしれないでもジェシカジェシカさんもすごくその。音楽、はい、やっててね、充実してて、とてもハッピーで良かったね。いや、福江ソジェシカの写真もあります。本当、本当。いつも隣ですね。私たちは。いつも隣。いつも隣。髪の毛がね、面白い。でも可愛いよ。すごい。I became emotional immediately when I came to the city because it only existed in my memory and in my imagination. And then along with that came this idea that like those times were a time I could never access again. And the most important person to me from that time, of course, was Fukue. <laughs> we just got along so well again and easily. It was so natural. It's just unreal. ジェシカさんのことはハロウィンが来ると思い出してどうしてるかなと私も思ってましたジェシカさんが私のことを覚えててくれていうのでとても嬉しく思います She has a steady job, a husband that loves her so much and two awesome kids I think she loves her life and I think she has a wonderful life so happy that even though she had to drop out of elementary school, she's been able to get to where she is today. It's like definitely renewed my belief in things turning out in the way that is right. Jessica さんと三十年ぶりに会えて、本当にこれは奇跡だと思ってて、なのでこの出会いを。もっともっと深めていきたいなと思ってます。ジェシカちゃんもありがとう。すごく楽しかったね。OK。おやすみなさい。グッナイ。グッナイ。おやすみ。バイバイ。Now that I'm back home, Fukue and I are going to keep in touch regularly, like we did when we were kids. She went through such a rough childhood. The fact that she is where she is, despite what she was up against, makes me so happy.